So today I want to show you an interesting approach to generating unique rhythms can be generative, can be repetitive with the Rhythm Explorer from Venom, which is available for free in this VRX. So let's listen to some sounds and start with the video. So let's start with the basic concepts of this module. In the right-click menu, we can change the clock resolution or the PPQN. By default, it's set to 24, which basically means that we need to use a clock multiplication of 24 for it to run as expected. I have here one set on clock from impromptu, of course, multiplied by 24, and this will go to the clock input, so now it's already running. Now, as you can see here, we have various channels with different divisions, quarter note, eighth notes, and so on. And we can also change this per channel. If I right click one of them, you can see I can choose between the different divisions. And we will start with the quarter notes. I have here tremor two. This will serve as our voice for now. And we have the respective clock outputs, as you can see per channel. This will basically output the clock division, right? So if I use the quarter notes, for example, Right, we will get basically quarter notes, but we have also below it the gate outputs again per channel. Right, and now we can set the density of this channel with this um, fader here. Right, so if I go all the way up, we get the same result, but if I go down to about 70, let's say, right, we get fewer hits. Now we can have um, multiple beats in a bar. For now we have four beats. Let's say I take this to eight. Right, so we have more variation. And we can have also multiple bars in a phrase. So for now we have one bar. If I set this to two, for example. Right, so again, according to the density, this will fill up the different steps and we get a um, variation according to the beats and the bars. I'm going to add some delay to this just to make this a bit more interesting. Um, I have here Tap Dancer from Flag. Right, and now I will use the 16th notes, this one here, to trigger, let's say, the noise section here on Tremor 2. I will also connect this to the trigger input here of the random module because this is randomizing all sorts of um, parameters here on the hi-hat. Right, so now I can add hits with, again, the density. If I take this all the way up, you will just get 16th notes. But I can take it down and add more space. Right here I have a bass voice with kick call from Befaco and this lovely chain. And um, all of the patches of course will be available for you to download. There's a link in the description if you want to take a closer look. But now I will use the eight notes, again the gate output, to trigger this bass voice. And let's add a bit of density. Right, and now already a nice feature of this sequencer it has a linear mode. As you can see here, we have the modes. For now, everything is set to all. This means that according to the density, the sequences will always play. But if, for example, I set the bass channel, this eighth notes, in the, if I right click it, I can change this to linear, right? And then the channel on the left, which in this case is the kick drum, will have priority over the, the channel that is set to linear which means that now that the kick and the bass will never play together. The kick will have priority and the bass will not play together with the kick drum. I have here, just for fun, another voice with slips and the VCV VCO.
Now, using the different channels of this sequencer is great, but something that's also fun to explore is combining them into one stream of rhythms. In the lower part here, we have multiple logic outputs that will output a combination of the different channels. So for example, I can use the O output, right in this case, I'm using here a pellet. Um, again, all of the patches are available for you to download. Right, so I'm using the OR output, and now I can start adding triggers, and they will be combined into one stream. So for example, if I start with a quarter note, and then add the eighth, the sixteenth, Right, so now they are combined um, into one stream of triggers that are triggering one voice. Right, so we get a sort of a macro rhythm, if you will. Right, but we can get, in my opinion, something even more interesting. So first of all, I will reset everything. Here we have the initialized densities. Right, and now instead of using the logic outputs, I will use the gate output, the polyphonic gate output. You can see it's sort of golden. Right, so this will output a polyphonic signal, and now each channel, each division will get its own voice, and the voices will continue ringing, just like playing a piano, for example. Right, so now I can have one voice playing quarter notes, another voice playing eighth notes. Right, now we have two voices, I can add another one with sixteenth. Right, so now we have three voices playing at the same time, each on its, on its own channel. Right, and again, I can change also the division. So for example, I can have another voice with eighth notes and another one with sixteenth. So now we have five channels. Right now, this voice is now polyphonic. I'm using here a random pitch information from the random module to generate polyphonic pitch, basically. Right, so I can use this together with something like the bass module from Sively, this one here, to generate also a bass voice. There is a quick tip video about this module if you are interested. Right, and here again, I have kick all as a bass voice. So what I will do, I have here on the Rhythm Explorer, we have the bar start output. This is a trigger output that will output a trigger whenever a bar starts. So I can use this to trigger uh, this bass voice and we will have a bass voice basically playing. Right, together with each bar. I have here also a hi-hat with white noise going through a band pass filter. Again, I'm using the Rhythm Explorer. In this case, I'm using the combination of the triggers with the OR output, and I'm using one of the channels as modulation to modulate the envelope. Let's listen to this, you will see exactly what I mean. Have a look here, whenever this is high, the envelope is longer. So we get a sort of an open head. Okay, so here I have a rhythm going with a Tala module from Seaside Modular. It will sound like this. Right, again, I'm using the various gate outputs here with various densities to trigger the different voices, the different samples here. Right, so first of all, if I turn on this pattern off button, the rhythm will always change, so I can use this as a performative tool to add some variation to everything. Right, just to add a bit more movement and changes. Right now we can also add variation by using the dice button. 
right? This will change or create a new rhythm and this will happen only at the beginning of a new bar. So it will stay lit until a new bar is um, ended or started. Right, and like this we can get different rhythms. Right, of course this also has a CV input, so you can do this also, trigger this also externally. Right, and we have also the random, let me zoom in a bit, the random CV input. Right here we can use various signals to generate rhythms from, for example, we can use uh, something random. Here I have walk from Bog Audio, this will generate random signals. Right, so now we always get something uh, that is uh, changing. Or we can use something more repetitive. Here I have the ADDR sequencer. Again, I will use the bar uh, trigger output, the bar start to trigger the ADDR. So with each bar, we have a different step. I have here four steps. So we'll get something a bit more repetitive when using this. So like this, you can experiment with external signals and create all sorts of variations. Of course, there are more CV inputs that you can use to add variation and randomness. For example, there is the seed CV input, right? We have a density CV inputs that you can also use randomize or sequence, right? You can use the bar and phrase CV inputs to add variation and so on and so forth. For now I have here a delay and reverb that I'm using with a copy of this Tala module to create some glitchy sounds. Just like this, something fun. Right, and here I have also drums. I'm using another Rhythm Explorer. Let's just make sure that everything is in sync. I have here another Rhythm Explorer, right, triggering a kick. Hi-hats and the snare. Right, again, I'm using different divisions with different densities. Have here again a bass with a kick all and another voice, polyphonic voice, just like I showed you before, with two FM operators. Of course, there are many more things you can try with this sequencer, like driving other sequencers with the gate outputs. So here I have the cyclic sequencer from Doc B. By the way, I have a full tutorial video about this sequencer on my Patreon, together with many other exclusive videos and content if you are interested. Links in the description. So here I have the actual gate outputs, again, according to the different densities triggering four different sequences here on the cyclic sequencer. So for example, I have two of them, two sequences sequencing two FM operators, pend left and right. Right, so we get again interesting rhythms. Right, then I have here also a bass and also dark energy with two more sequences. So again, the rhythms themselves are coming from the Rhythm Explorer and this I'm using to trigger or to drive different sequences or pitch sequences, right, to get interesting rhythms and variation. Right, now another technique you can do with gates is using gates or combining gates or mixing them for pitch information. Here in the right click menu on the Rhythm Explorer, you can change the output, the gate output width. I have it set to 100%. I'm just mixing the four different gates, again, according to the different densities and divisions I set here. Right, sending this to a quantizer and this will basically generate pitch information. 
Right, so you can use also gates for pitch, you can use the Rhythm Explorer as a pitch sequencer with all the different variation it offers, or variations it offers, the dice, the different beats, the bars, the phrases and everything, the densities. Right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you will go and experiment with this uh, sequencer with the Rhythm Explorer. Thank you for watching. Cheers.